Hello guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. So today I'll basically be showing you how to use the training system I use for cash and boom. So it's a very simple training system. It doesn't give you 100% wins, but you're sure to get on the right side of the train when you find it. So one thing we'll be looking at is some particular trade setups. So yeah, so basically what we'll be looking at is the pin bars and the crystals, whatever you call them. So those are what we'll be looking at in this trading stuff. So for example now let's go back to somewhere like here. I think I need to turn up the data motion so I can see on this channel I should just find out what is it sorry chat it was good so looking back at here what to be considering before taking trades is one of the most important things is this here You can call it whatever you want. So some people call it um pin bar, whatever it is. You just call it whatever you want. So yeah, this is what we'll be looking at today. So this move here. So now anytime you see this in the market with aligned with this trading system. You should consider that okay, maybe the market is trying to reverse into another direction. So now, what you should consider taking is the fact that you have seen this here. It's one good sign. So now you look at your Fibonacci level or which level it is. So obviously your Fibonacci is useless at this point because it's not bouncing back at any point. So now then you take a look at your stochastic. Your stochastic will have to cross after you've seen this. You have to wait for your stochastic to cross then. The next candle has to open in the direction which you are expecting it to go. So now looking at the fact that this next candle has opened here and then it closed, then you can take your trade. Then you take your trade right this whole trend down. So this on the early time frame. So I would advise you use this trading system for higher time frames. It's more preferable because I use it for that. So look at this here. A similar thing happened here again. similar thing happened here again so you see what happened here this level at which it came up i think i need to be deleting this so now look at what happened then look at what happened to the stochastic the stochastic crossed after the crossing this candle opened then you enter at the starting of this candle so obviously this candle started around somewhere here then you enter it and write this whole trend off clear so look at here again continuation of a trend it appeared again then this candle so your stochastic wasn't that much valid here but you had already two confirmations which are going to confirm the trend for you and going to help you at least scale some good profits so now this is the continuation of the trend so now you do not actually need much confirmation but looking at an extra confirmation is the fact that your Fibonacci it bounced at the 61.8 so you see it couldn't break the 61.8 and it came back down Boom. then looking at this level you look at it it happened continuation so you always have to wait for the next candle to close to confirm it so but for me there are some things I consider whereby I don't wait for the candle but you have to have the knowledge I have before you be able to think of doing stuff like that it's very risky though but if you have the knowledge that I have, yeah, you couldn't consider doing that. So let's keep looking. Look at what happened here. Bam. And look at what happened here. So there's one thing again I want to point out. Anytime you see for a bearish for a bearish trend identification, if you want to identify a bearish trend, there's something you should consider. The pin bar always 
has to happen. The pin bar always has to happen below the below the open of the previous candle. So let's say the previous candle is a bullish candle. Then you have to wait. The pin bar has to close below below and it has oh sorry it has to also start again below the open the close of the previous candle always put that in mind so for uh for a bullish trend it always has to start above the close above the close of the bear of the previous candle so now look at this this pin bar it happened this pin bar happened above the close of this candle so let's say this candle closed here yeah, somewhat around here yeah because this is a canary candle so it's not actually exactly like candle so it doesn't give more precision just helps you clearly define where the market is going to and be able to make profit for the dream so so now looking at it it closed above it then you take your trade so obviously i told you you have to wait for your stochastic also to merge so now looking at here the stochastic has merged and after the close of this candle you can see that it was a good trend so you take it up and you ride it all up so looking at this level yeah this one was a perfect entry also but the trade didn't last so that's where you get to know that it's not always going to be milks and honeys every time but your chance of profitability is high so now let's keep scaling i'm not going to jump any part so i'm going to be giving you as it comes so now looking at this one also so yeah you see it did make some profit out of this trade also looking at here you did make some profit out of this trade so one thing you should always so consider is when before you close a trade one consideration that is going to tell you that a trade is not going to last is for example now okay let's look in at look at this pin bar not that much but it's as well as the pin bar also so now looking at it um yeah you closed it started above the close of this previous candle and after it started then this happened pam 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 then this trend didn't last so now one thing you should also consider is once you enter a trade at the beginning of the trade if you see the next candle or let me say the second third candle of that trend close below the high of the previous candle that's where you buy then you should know that that trend is going to close out soon that trend is going to run out very soon so now looking at it you see what happened here it didn't last then boom it dropped it dropped it dropped so for the pin bar it doesn't matter what um it doesn't matter what kind of color the pin bar comes at once it follows the conditions where i told you whereby for a bearish for a bearish trade the pin bar has to start at has to start either it can be within the body of the candle but it must not be at the close of the bullish candle it must not start at the close of the bullish candle it has to start lower than the close of the bullish candle and for a for a bullish trade the pin bar has to start above above the close of the bearish candle the previous candle before so now you have to understand once you understand support and understand you will to clearly define what term you should consider also because now looking at this level you okay, see the market came here bound tested then it came here tested this region and bounced back down after that then we can find this pin bar this pin bar happened so this pin bar happened then you take your trade you long it so now one thing you should also consider is the fact that since every trade is not going to be a good looking trade if you want to take the risk you can based on the fact that you are managing risk if you know how to manage risk, you can take this kind of trade for example now anytime you see this kind of candle which weeks above it you shouldn't consider the trade if you are on a small balance but if you can't wait and be patient you can be able to take it that is if you manage your risk well then you'll be able to it might turn out well it might not turn out so well like here it turned out so well yeah so you'll be able to profit so let's keep looking you see what happened here again it happened then you went up again let's look for another one that's clearly defined so you see what i told you the previous